Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. Coach Bobby here. It is uh, it is two minutes till four o'clock on the on the West Coast. I'm about to take a nap. A long week, long day. Uh, I've been trying to uh, cut my day in half, especially on my long days. When I get up at 4 a.m. and do my long boot camp, boot camp blocks, uh, 6 a.m. until 10, uh, then I work out, and then I do a corporate class from 12 to 1. So my Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays go from 6 a.m. until 1, nonstop. So, I've been trying to uh, come home, pick the kids up, and then get a quick nap in, and reset it. And so I wake up, recharge, take a shower again, like a new day, and then back to the grind. What's up, Nelson? So, when my, my kids' schedules allow that, it helps me kind of get two cracks, two swings at the, at, at the tree in one day. Like two days, basically. So I wake up refreshed after a short nap and get after it. Do my my administrative stuff, my marketing. Do a video, maybe whatever. So I'm about to nap for about 20 minutes. Get a get a power nap, and then wake up, get some work done, take my kids to practice, work while they're at practice, and try to get better. I'm getting ready to go down to La Jolla this weekend. Actually, Sunday, I uh, leave Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, I'll be in La Jolla doing some speaker training. So I'm taking this thing to the next level, guys. I'm trying to be, I'm going to be um, an, a motivational speaker utilizing all my, all, my, all my success stories in fitness and football and finance, academics, relationships, using that to help people. You know, my first, my first talking point uh, is around the five steps to greatness. Some of you have heard that. So <clears throat> I'm going down to uh, to do some training with a guy named Bo Eason. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're interested, Google Bo Eason. He's a bad dude. And, and I, I'm going down to train with him for three days. So I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be great at something I've always wanted to do. Right? So Unfortunately and ironically, this this week maybe maybe it's not ironic. Maybe it's because of I need it. But it's been a challenging month, or or at least a week for sure, a week in terms of um, my relationships with my students in particular, and my and my son's team, people I try to coach, and. Um, you know, I'll be the first to admit, guys, you know, my, my approach to teaching, to, to inspiring, to motivating is not always the best, right? It can be abrasive. It can be in your face. It can be, you know, no nonsensical, right? Um, anyone who knows me, that's how I've always been. And part of how we teach, part of how we coach comes from who coached us and who influenced us. So the people I, I remember growing up as my coaches and my teachers were people who pushed me to be great and didn't let me settle for average. And so uh, my parents were the same way, right? My brother was the same way. My sisters kind of built the same way. People I went to college with, my roommates are kind of, were kind of built the same way. So I come from that. Uh, unfortunately, it can, it can come across as being an asshole. Or jerk, um, and that bothers me because I'm not that way. You know, if you know me outside of sports, outside of training, I'm I'm not like that. I'm actually introverted, and I don't like being around people that much and being I'm uncomfortable. So um, that's the dichotomy, right? That's that's the, the two sides of the same coins of Bobby, Coach Bobby, and then Bobby. But I will say this. I will say this. I'm obsessed with improvement. I'm addicted to improvement. In fact, I reserved the domain name maybe 10 years ago. 
uh, addicted to improvement is something that I, I've, I've had this addiction to, to, to growing, to getting better at things I want to be good at since the day I was born, right? Football, you know, academics when I finally committed to it, getting my MBA, being a good CFO, being a good speaker, being a good uh, friend and father and husband. When I'm committed to something I w that I want to be good at, I have an addiction to improvement in that area. And I don't really understand people who aren't like that. And so, and Kelvin, perfect example, Kelvin can tell you, David can tell you. I've had an addiction to improvement since I was, since I was in diapers, right? Me and Kelvin, Kelvin will tell you, we bagged groceries at, at Fort Ord Commissary. I was 14, 15, 16 years old, right? He'll tell you this. And this is before the internet, obviously. This is before, you know, a, a wealth of knowledge and fitness. I used to, we used to do dips and work out in between bagging groceries, I used to buy baby food and eat baby food, I thought, because I thought it would, make, it would make me bigger and stronger. Right? Everything I could do to get better, I tried. I would run. I would lift. Right? When I was studying for my MBA, I was, I, was, I, was, I was walking around studying. So I have an addiction, a real addiction to improvement. It, it pushes me. It, 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 I mean, it, I, I, I don't drink. I don't smoke. But I promise you, it's the same feeling I get when I'm getting better that many people get when they do other things. So I so when I'm when I'm committed to being great at something I'm I'm all in. And and I understand the urgency behind greatness. I lived it. I try to teach it. And so I don't have a lot of patience for for anything that's not moving me forward. Right? I had a group in, in my MBA program. We had to do our thesis paper as a group. And we would meet, and, we, and it would be a, a, a lot of playing. Right? People would get coffee. People would bring snacks. And finally, I said, you know what? I'm not into playing. If you want me to write the whole thesis myself, I can do it. But I'm not going to be meeting week after week and playing instead of writing our thesis paper. I would rather tell the teacher I would do it by myself. I don't need a group because I'm not here to play, right? So when I'm talking to my son's basketball team or my daughter or my boot campers, that's where I come from, right? I'm not here to play, right? When I go down to, to the speaking seminar, I'm not going down there to play, People say, oh, you're going to go, oh, San Diego is beautiful, La Jolla is beautiful. I, don't, I ain't going there to play. I'm going there to be great, to get better. If I want to go play, I'll take my wife and kids with me to go play. Right? So if we're working out, and Kevin will tell you this, I'm not here to play. If I'm studying for a test, I'm not, I don't need to meet you at the coffee shop. I'm not here to play. So... When we're chasing something that's hard to get, and if it's a dream or vision, it should by definition be hard to get. Otherwise, just go get it. So the dream, the vision, the passion is hard to get. The time to go get it is limited. Right? Three workouts a week. Two classes a week. One date a week with your wife or your, or your son or daughter, date night. The time to get better is limited. So I'm not into wasting it. Go to my Facebook page when you get a chance and go and scroll up. You don't see anything about me playing. If my family and I are hanging out, right, I meant to hang out. So, so, so even my hangouts, I'm all in. Even my time with my family, I'm all in. Right, MJ played ball with me in college. I don't play around, right? I'm too limited Academically or, 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 or intelligent-wise, I'm too limited. Physically, athletically, I've always been too limited to waste time. Right? And now I'm 47, so my life is limited. My lifespan is limited. My wife, my, my, my mom died at 56. That's less than a decade from now. My brother is 56. So 
when I'm trying to get better in life, whether it's working out, whether it's studying, whether it's trying to be great at, at, at speaking, I don't have time to play. Right? My son's team, they've heard me talk to them several times. I'm not driving to Pleasanton to watch y'all play. Play. Now, if we compete and try to get better, I'll do that. But I ain't here to play, man. What life is... Life is too short to not be all in. I get it. We want to have fun. We want to enjoy ourselves. We want to, want to reap the rewards of our hard work. I get that. But we ain't here just to play, to buy a few things. I did a video about this with my, with my, my uh, videographer, my branding manager, Tanache, about a year ago. We're not here just to buy a few things and do a few things and go into our grave. That ain't why we're here. That ain't why we're here. Right, because before, before all this, before TVs and movies and In and Out Burger and 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 Lululemons and all this shit we made up, before all that, we were just human beings, animals on the earth. And so, and that's ninety nine percent of our existence as human beings. We didn't have any of this crap, right? And so, what do you what do you think the purpose of being a human being was back then? It was not to have fun. It was not to buy some shit and do some shit and then go to the grave. Right? So I'm not here to play, guys. Right? When I start speaking and I do seminars, I'm building, I'm building a course of curriculum on being great. I'm not going to be playing around. Right? And part of me feels bad about it. Like Bobby feels bad about it. The guy who was scared to talk in class, the guy who was kind of shy in high school, Kelvin, the guy who, who, who walked around and was unsure of himself because he stuttered, that guy cares about it. Coach Bobby don't give a damn about that. What I care about is if you want to be great, let's go get it. If you don't then and you don't like me because I want to be great, then I, I'll see you at the mall. I'll say hi. We can have lunch. But this ain't for you. This, this relationship might not be for you. And that's okay. But I'm trying to be great at, at whatever I do. I have an addiction to improvement, period. I might die tomorrow. I damn, I damn well won't be dying going down this way. I'm always going to be going up and getting better. My stock is, is hopefully always going up, never stagnant, never going down. So if I die tomorrow, it's going to be on the uptick. I promise you. In something, in my fitness, in my relationships, in my speaking, in my academics, in what I know. It's going to be on the uptick somewhere, I promise you. It ain't going to be the same thing it was yesterday. And I get frustrated because people who say they want to be whatever it is, lose 20 pounds, right? Be a millionaire, be a top salesman. They say that, but then a year later, they're in the same spot. And then they get mad because I want them to be great. I want them to do what they told me they want to do. My son wants to go to Oregon. So I tell you, you know what? You got to lift. You got to work out. You got to eat. Right. You got to sleep right. You told me you want to go to Oregon. I didn't tell you. You told me that. So we, we can change it. We can change the contract. We can change what you want. But you told me that. You told me you want to lose 20 pounds. So why you got to get mad at me for making you push and be great? The same way my boys hold me accountable to saying I was going to write a book. Right? So... I, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Right? So if you choose to not be on this road with me to being great at whatever you want to do, I'll, I'll still love you. But I don't have time to play around with anything. With fitness, with, with speaking, with my family relationships, with my friend relationships, with my health, with my drive, with my vision. With what I, I don't have time to play. It's too limited. Now, if I can play and get work done then we can talk, but most of us can't do that, right? We got busy lives at work. We have busy lives at family, so the time we have to ourselves to get better is limited, and we want to waste it by playing, by talking, by playing? No, not me. Not me. So this is a rant. I get it. What's up, Jet? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Juanita. Hey, Dina. It's a rant, but, you know, I hope somebody holds me accountable. Right, Patty? I hope somebody holds me accountable to being great because that's what I want to be. Right? I wish I had a Coach Bobby to get my fucking face. Say, Look, you said you want to be great. Let's go get it. I don't have a Coach Bobby in mind. I have myself. Right? I have myself pushing me. And that's enough sometimes, but not all the time. So I'm trying to be that person for somebody, for other people. And so when I, 
when you tell me you want to be great, I want to be thin, I want to be strong, I want to be successful, I want a good relationship here, I want to, I want to go back to school, and I want to start a business. When you tell me that, then let's go get it. And so I'm not apologizing for my approach being wrong sometimes. It's going to be wrong sometimes. Think back if you play sports to the best coach you had. He didn't let you slide because you said I was hurt or I was tired or I can't do it. He didn't let you slide. She, she didn't let you slide. Right? And then you left that world and got average and surrounded yourself with people who are average, who don't care if you average. Right, so the list of people in your life, husband, wife, kids, friends, colleagues, employers, all want you to be average. And the list is long, if you're, if you're honest with yourself, the list is long of people who are fine with you being exactly where you are right now. The list is long of people who are okay with it. Why? Because they okay with it. Well, where are they at? So they don't want Jet to get stronger. They don't want Patty to do more, 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 uh, more Spartan races. They don't want Hong to get smarter. They don't want Teresa to get more money. They don't want Frank to get better because they don't want to get better. So the list is long. I ain't on that list. I am not on that list of people who don't care about you being great. I ain't on it. So so, so on this side, you got I don't, whoever it is, right, of people who are okay with me being average. I am not on this side. I'm on this side who's holding you accountable for what you were born to be. And it ain't average, I promise you. It's not average. Your parents weren't average. Your grandparents weren't average. Your great-grandparents damn sure weren't average. But now you're comfortable. Right? Watching Game of Thrones, playing Fortnite, getting drinks with the girls, getting beers with the boys, going golfing. Nothing wrong with that stuff. But they want you to be average. They like you where you're at. But you don't like it. I know you don't like it because you told, you told me you don't like it. And you shouldn't like it. Because you ain't worried, you ain't maxed out your capacity, your ability. So why should you be okay with it? I ain't okay with it. I, I'm not okay where I'm at. Anywhere in my life. Not fitness. Not my speaking. Not how smart I am. Not how nice I am and, 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 and communicating. I ain't okay with any of it. Any of it. And since I might die tomorrow, I'm going to change it today. Today. I saw a quote the other day. It's like, if you're going to be the same person you were tomorrow as you were yesterday, what the hell do you need today for? If you're going to be the same person you were yesterday, tomorrow, why you need today? Give it to me. Give it to somebody else who can use it, who will use it. If you ain't changing, if you ain't getting better. So I've been I've been upset about about because I because at the end of the day, I love all you guys. I love my students, I love my kids, obviously. I love my wife, I love my kids' teammates. But I am not I'm not okay being average. I ain't even okay being good, to be honest with you. If it's something that's important to me, I want to be great. I want to be the best at it that I can be. Right? So, if that offends people, and it does, often, <laughs> then that's just what it is. Right? Because, you know, I'm 47. I'll be 50 in three years. And I'll be damned if I'm just going to drink and party and eat and relax my way to 60 and 70 into my grave. Screw that. Screw that. It might be fine for you. It ain't fine for me. It ain't fine for me. So again, if if you're gonna be the same person tomorrow that you were yesterday, then give the day today to somebody else that can use it and will use it. All right, I love you guys. I'm gonna go nap now. I need some. Yeah, I'm gonna nap and then wake up and then get back to work. Right, at trying to be great. All right, guys, love you. Have a good day. Bye bye.